Yolanda, you're here today taking part in the F7 Braintree Arts Festival. What are you actually doing here? Right, I'm just promoting flower arranging. I'm a florist, a local florist in the high street, and we've been here in the town for 17 years. And today is just to show the art form of flower arranging and floristry. So arts are a wide span of different things, and flowers is just one of those. How did you become interested in becoming a florist to begin yourself? Right. Um, at the age of nine, I used to um, help do the swag in a local church um, at Christmas. I then went to a flower class when I was ten years old, which is at a local school. It was just a flower arranging class, and joined House to Flower Club when I was eleven years old, and never looked back. I always wanted to do it from then on, so and then just carried on from there, and been doing it ever since. And I understand you've been in the floristry business for 30 years? 30 years. Yeah. And how did you train? I went to London School of Floristry and I trained in London School of Floristry and then I've been to several local florists through my many years and I'm now I'm the proprietor of flirtations in Braintree. And as far as younger people are concerned, how do you feel is their best approach to, to move into floristry? Well, I do th think that you should definitely go and train internally in a florist and obviously maybe have day release at Rittle. There's Rittle colleges and things like that that do basic floristry training. But being there with florists that are trained already is, is the most motivated and it will give you the good grounding to become a florist. So I definitely say do a little bit of training at colleges, but get there in the nitty gritty in a shop. We often get um, young girls that do work day we release for like weeks and things, and they can't believe it. When they walk into a florist, it's totally different from being there into a college atmosphere. So definitely get inside a florist and see it hands on.